thank God that there's a name that I can call. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. <laughs> Make known his deeds among the people. I call him Jesus. That's Jesus, his name. Jesus. Jesus. That's the name. That's the name. I call him Jesus. 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 That's the name. That's the name. It's all. I want to thank you right now for tuning in to this latest edition of the podcast. On this episode, we will be discussing Jehovah God, according to the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible. Now, you know me. I am an Orthodox Christian who holds to what the Bible actually teaches about Jehovah God, which is that Jehovah God operates in three distinct co-equal, co-eternal persons and God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit. Jehovah's Witnesses will deny that. They'll say that Jesus is not Jehovah God, but we're going to look at their Bible today and find out what their Bible says. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right. But before we get to that, I need you to do me a favor. OK, I need you to hit that like button. Hit it. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. Hit that like button. I also need you to hit that subscribe button. If you have not hit the subscribe button already, also hit the bell once you've hit the subscribe button so that when a new video comes out, when a new premiere comes out, when a new live is being filmed, you will be able to be uh, notified and tune in to the content that we are doing here at is here ruin radio i want to make sure you stay abreast so i hope that you've already hit that subscribe button do it do it do it 
and hit that like button and leave a comment. Even if all you do is leave me a thumbs up, I want you to leave a comment because it helps the algorithm and it helps this video get more views. All right. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. So again, what is our topic today? We are still debunking Jehovah's Witnesses arguments and we are debunking the argument that Jesus is not Jehovah God using their Bible. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go to their website and go through scriptures that is in their Bible and demonstrate that Jesus the Christ is Jehovah God, God Almighty, Yahweh. Praise the Lord. Okay. So let's share my screen and we're going to go to Jeremiah 17. I'm going to share my screen. Then I'm going to go to Jeremiah 17. I'm going to share my screen. Then I'm going to go to Jeremiah 17. I'm going to share my screen. Then I'm going to go to Jeremiah. Jer uh. All right. Jeremiah 17. And I'm going to go to verse 10. All right. Let's go to verse 10. And it says, I, Jehovah, according to the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible, this says, I, Jehovah, am searching the heart, examining the innermost thoughts to give each one according to his ways, according to the fruitage of his works. I, Jehovah, look at what we're reading in the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible, y'all. I, Jehovah. Am searching the heart. So that means that Jehovah is searching the heart. That's what he is doing. Jehovah. He's searching the heart, examining the innermost thoughts to give each one according to his ways, according to the fruitage of his works. We are going to go to the book of Revelation and we are going to go to chapter two and let's see what we find there. Ah, 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 ah. All right. Revelation chapter two, verse 18. And it says like this to the angel of the congregation in Theatira, write: These are the things that the son of God says. Who is the son of God? The son of God is Jesus. So these are the things that Jesus says, according to the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible. These are the things that Jesus says. Jesus is the one who has eyes like a fiery flame, whose feet are like fine copper. Let's go down to verse 23 as we see all of these things that Jesus says. Let's go to verse 23 where Jesus is still saying stuff. What does Jesus say? And I will kill her children with a deadly plague. Wow. So that all the congregations will know that I am the one who searches the innermost thoughts and hearts. And I will give to you individually according to your deeds this is almost verbatim what we just read in jeremiah chapter 17 verse 10 where their bible said i jehovah so jehovah was talking it said i jehovah am searching the heart examining the innermost thoughts to give each one according to his ways according to the fruitage of his works and now we are here in revelation chapter 2 verse 23 where we see that jesus is talking because according to their bible in verse 18 of revelation chapter 2 it says that jesus says the son of god says and then he starts talking verse 23 says all the congregations will know that I am the one who searches the innermost thoughts and hearts, and I will give to you individually according to your deeds. The same thing that Jehovah said, now Jesus is saying. But I thought only Jehovah did it. And you want to know what's crazy? You can't, you, it can't be an argument that, oh, well, you know, Jesus does it because he's helping the father. Because first of all, Jehovah's Witnesses Bible also clearly says that only Jesus will do the judging. We've seen that. But in addition to that, look at what it says right here. It's not more than one person. It says right here, I am the one. It's almost like God wanted to make sure people didn't come try to corrupt his Bible and tell people that he meant something that he ain't meant. This says, I am the one who searches the innermost thoughts. It says, I am the one. Not I'm one of the people who do it. Not me and, you know, so-and-so does it. No, me, I, the son, the son of the son of God, Jesus, the Christ, Messiah. I am the one who searches the innermost hearts and hearts and will give to you individually according to your deeds. 
Although in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 10, Jehovah said, I, Jehovah, am searching the heart, examining the innermost thoughts to give each one according to his ways, according to the fruitage of his works. The only way this is not a contradiction is if Jesus is actually Jehovah. So either the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible is contradicting itself and their teaching is wrong when they say that Jesus is not Jehovah. He's merely a created creature. He's the first created being. So either there's a big contradiction and a problem in Jehovah's Witnesses theology or or maybe and because that is <laughs> true. But here's how we make sense of it. Jesus is Jehovah God. He always has been, always will be. He is not created. He is God. And he revealed that about himself in scripture. And although human beings attempted to destroy the word of God, we see in passages like this that God still reigns supreme. And there are still several ways to prove who the alpha and the omega is and how. And how we know that Jesus is Jehovah God, even according to the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible who attempted to corrupt it. May the word of the real true God be a blessing to the reader and the hearer of this word. I pray that this has blessed you. Hit the subscribe button if you have not already done so. So I got a question. Is he a real one? Yes, he is. And the he that we talking about is Jesus, y'all. Hey, hey, amen.